Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome to another VBOTS Q&A video. In today's video, I'm answering the question on how to use Python 3 for VBOTS on Mac. I'll be talking about how to find which versions of Python 3 works for VBOTS, how to find different Python 3 versions on your Mac and how to use Python 3 for VBOTS on Mac. I'll also include these timings in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm starting here with a basic setup. I have a differential drive robot. And as you can see, my code is written in Python. Let's start the simulation. As you can see, it's currently running Python 2.7. By default, VBOTS is set to use Python 2. To change this to use Python 3, we'll need to change the settings. To do this, click on VBOTS on the top menu bar and click on Preferences. As you can see, there's an option called Python command and here you can specify which version of Python you want to use. For some people, simply writing Python 3 works. Let's try that. I'm writing Python 3 and clicking OK. Let's reset the world and run the simulation again. As you can see, I'm getting an error. Our first step is to find out which version of Python 3 will work for the VBOTS installed on your Mac. Now, if you look at the VBOTS documentation on their website, it mentions that you can use Python 3.7, 3.8 or 3.9. You can either download from the Python website or using Homebrew. In my personal experience, I've found out that Python 3.9 doesn't work but Python 3.7 and Python 3.8 does work. Now this may change in the future or it may work differently based on the version of VBOTS you have installed. So let me show you how to find out which version of Python 3 will work based on what you have installed on your computer. For this, let's open a terminal. I'm using command and plus to make it bigger. We'll have to go to the VBOTS library on your Mac to see what controller options you have. For me, VBOTS was installed under applications. So that's where I'm gonna go. As you can see, there's option of Python 2.7, which it was using by default, Python 3.7, Python 3.7 Brew, Python 3.8 and Python 3.8 Brew. With this, I know I can use Python 3.7 and Python 3.8. The reason there's Python 3.7 and Python 3.7 Brew because you can install Python in two ways, either from the website itself or using Homebrew on Mac. Now, if simply typing Python 3 didn't work for you, you need to find out the exact path where your Python 3 is installed to be able to use with VBOTS. So now let's look at which versions of Python you have on your computer and how to find the path for those installations. One simple method which is often used in Ubuntu is simply typing which Python or which Python 3. This will give you the path to Python and Python 3. To find the version, it's often recommended to use Python 3 dash dash version. As you can see, my default Python 3 version is 3.9, which is not going to work for VBOTS. Now I installed Python using Homebrew. So to find out all the Python versions with homebrew, simply type brew list. With this, I can see I have Python 3.8 and Python 3.9. Now to get the path for Python 3.8, I'm going to use brew info. So type the following brew info Python at 3.8. This will give a whole bunch of information the sentence that you're looking for is this one. Python has been installed as. This gives you the exact path where Python 3.8 was installed. Let's copy that and try it on VBOTS. Once again, click on the VBOTS on the top menu bar, Preferences and Python command. 
Here now I'm adding the exact path for Python 3.8. Click OK. Let's reset the world and run again. And as you can see, it works. Now if you installed it from the Python website, it is possible that it was installed either in user bin or user local bin. So here's what you can do to find the path in user bin. The star allows you to look at all the options related with Python. So as you can see, again, I have 2.7 and Python 3. You can similarly also look inside user local bin. So let's try that. Now again, here I see Python 3 and Python 3.9. I'm not sure what user local bin Python 3 points to. But essentially, these are some of the ways you can look for the exact path of Python installed on your Mac. And then use that exact path under Python command in vbots to get Python 3 to work with vbots on Mac. If you have more questions, use the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. You can also find other VBOT related videos on my channel. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.